Hello everybody! Today, we're going to be cutting up this pig. This pig! Let's do it! Our last pig. I've enjoyed his company, but the time has his time has come. I hope we get some new animals soon, or I'll really be lonely. The drain is where the blood goes when I slice up my animals. Okay, let's see what do we do. I need this bucket. There we go. Then we press this button. Oh. You're supposed to fill up the bucket first. I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, let's do this. Don't be frightened, little guy. It's okay. What? They didn't show it. Oh, wait, they did. Never mind. You're so sad. Why be so sad? Yeah, now you're happy. Job done. Achievement unlocked. Damn it. Yes! We're getting the blood, man! The bottle is full of pig's blood. Now, what do we do? We don't need any more of that blood. At least not yet. That all that's left of our last pig. Okay. I've already got the my butcher's knives. I don't need a sharpener. Yeah, whatever. Whoosh! And we're back. I like being teleported. It tickles a little bit, but it's relaxing. Okay. A crystal ball? Woo! Okay, let's, let's talk to him. Oh, I meant to talk to him. I've got the blood. Perfect! Give me the bottle. What do? What have you done to the blood? And why are you giving it back to me? To find the god of carnivorism, we need a special potion made of animal blood. At least that's what my card said. I've added s some of my magic spices to the blood and created an awesome elixir with my magical cocktail mixing skills. Magical cocktail mixing skills? That sounds brilliant. Ah. Now you have to drink from the bottle. Don't drink it all though. Take a swig. And when the potion starts to take effect, I'll explain the rest. Okay. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Oh, she drank it. This con concoction <laughs> actually tastes pretty good. I know. Every year I do a tour of a thousand of of thousands of hotels. So that everyone can try my magnificent, magnificent cocktails. And, Sandro, I'm not interested in your stories. So rude. Why is he being rude right now? Yes, but what do I do now? How long d does it take for the potion to take effect? Not long, wait a little while. 
a bit more. Almost there. <laughs> Okay, let's begin. What? Agatha? Uh, hello, Sandro. Where are you? I can't see you. Right now, I'm inside your head. Oh, God. No, I'm inside my head. You can't weigh very much. I can't feel anything. I'm in your mind, Agatha. I'm using my special powers to connect your dormant imaginarium <laughs> with your reality. In other words, you're navigating through your own imagination. And if all goes well, the god of carnivorism will appear. At least that's what the card said. Okay. <laughs> Good. Can I tell you that you're starting to trust me? I can tell tell that you're starting to trust me. That's the spirit. I don't see that I have a choice. Well, I guess I can work with that. Anyway, can you tell me what you see around you? Right now, it's really dark. The only thing that I can see is... I'm studying, st standing in a puddle, puddle of blood. Anything else? Is anyone there with you? I don't think so. Hang on. I can see a shadow. I think there's something approaching. And it's huge! Whoa, it's a giant pig! A pig? Hmm, that makes sense. Hello, giant pig. Yes, that's me. And what's your name? Oh, and it and does it hurt? Okay, that's good. So that's you? Okay, hang on a minute. Hey, Sandro? Tell me. I found the god of carnivorism. Oh, really? Yes, it's a giant pig called the Great Bleeding Pig. So, the Great Bleeding Pig. Wait, he wants to tell you something else. Yes? Oh? Yes, sometimes that can happen. I like it rare too. Okay, Agatha, you've met the god of carnivorism. That's all we need. Say goodbye, and I'll dis disconnect you. You're so right. Sausages are very much undervalued. Agatha? Ah, uh, is that even possible? Inside? Are you listening to me, Agatha? Come back right now! Seriously? That's enough! I need to bring her back before it's too late. Oh god. And what do I need to do to get in? Wait, where are you going? Already? So soon? But I need your help. Oh god. Why? But I said I wanted to go in. Go in. Please don't go. Great bleeding pig. Great bleeding pig? It's over, Agatha. I've disconnected you from your dormant in Imaginarium. <laughs> I'm sorry that I suck at pronouncing words. Why did you disconnect me? I was hanging out with the great bleeding pig. 
Agatha, the great bleeding pig does not, doesn't exist. What do you mean he doesn't exist? He seemed real to me. Well, he isn't real. You created the great bleeding pig with your imagination. Sorry, I had a burp. <laughs> Based on all your dormant thoughts in your mind, and with your, with the help of my awesome cocktail, of course, later on for all this to work. What did he say? Never mind. You have to convince others that he exists. Okay, I understand what he said. <laughs> but no matter what, you must remember that the Great Blade Pig is nothing more than a symbol. A tool. Just another piece of car the carniv carnivorism puzzle. A made up god for a made up religion, okay? That's a shame. We were getting on really well. But yes, I understand. The Great Bleeding Pig doesn't exist because I invented him. But I can use him as a god of the god of carnivorism to convince. Hey, who do I need to convince? Don't worry about that at the moment. There are some other things that we need to find. But before I forget, what? were you and, and the great bleeding pig talking about? What does it matter if none of it was real? It wasn't real. Maybe what you were talking about could be useful. Right. Well, he told me that he really likes sausages and that he likes meat rare. Just like me. He also mentioned that, deep inside, he has everything that I need to solve my problems. Interesting. Whew, big breath. Too much reading. <laughs> and what does that mean exactly? I don't know. Just as, as he was going to explain, you disconnected me. Sorry, but I rescued you. I was talking to you, and you didn't respond. If I hadn't disconnected you in time, you would have been forever trapped in your own imagination. Oh, in that case, thanks. No problem. Maybe I should drink some more of that potion from the bottle. That way I can speak to the great bleeding pig again. That's not a good idea. It's too soon. You should leave more time between journeys into your dormant imaginarium. <laughs> Such a big word, man. <laughs> ah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get on with finding the next part of carnivorism. Yes. We've got a god. Now we need a sacred book. And in that book, we'll put together all necessary principles. To ensure that carnivorism makes sense and will be useful. And what principles are those? First, get your hands on a book. We'll worry about the principles later. Okay. We'll need to need a thick book with loads of pages. Loads of blank pages, that is. Does that even exist? A book with blank pages? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. Maybe a notebook? I don't know. You have to look for one. Really? What? What's going on here? And if you can't find one, you can make one yourself. Okay. I'll think of something. I'll go outside, take a look around, and see what I can find. Excellent. Ah, by the way. Given that we're talking about the sacred book of carnivorism perhaps the cover should be red i like it okay that's decided find a book with lots of blank pages and a red cover when you have it we'll write the principles for your new religion 
and with that, we'll have the sacred book of carnivorism. And we'll be one step closer to solving your problems! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, problems will be solved! I'll get on with that it then. Good luck! And remember, if you need help, we can always consult the cards. Okay, but first, I'm going to take a look around and see what I can find. As you wish, you know where to find me. I don't know where to find you. <laughs> you just teleport everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Let's get out of this place. Pop this popsicle stand. And by the way, guys, this will be the end of this episode. So don't worry. <laughs> you're not. You're not deep in shit anymore, man. It's only 16 minutes. Going on to 17 minutes. So anyways, guys and gals, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow. As always, safe sailing. <laughs> and have a great day. Bye.